Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another of my videos. And today I'm bringing you guys the best breathing tier list in Demon Fall. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember that like button, subscribe to the couple more. Let's get right to the video, guys. Alright, guys, so we're starting out with fire. Fire is going to be going into B tier because I feel like fire has like almost no range when it comes to abilities. And I feel like fire is a very just kind of like self-destructive breathing technique. Funnily enough, coming from Rengoku, who is, you know, if you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like it's very self-destructive as in it gets you in a lot of bad situations when you use the abilities. But it also can one-shot people depending on how you use it, which is why it's not going to be in C or D. But I feel like it's a very solid breathing technique overall. Next one's going to be Mist. Obviously, this is going to be going into S. You get so many iframes while using Mist, it's unreal. Not to mention that it can do a lot of damage. And there is a one-shot combo that you can do with Mist, which is just absolutely insane for a breathing technique in a Demon Slayer game to have a one-shot technique. But Mist does have one and it also has a ton of iframes. That's why it's going to be going into S tier. Next one's actually going to be Thunder. Thunder's going to be low S tier. Now, surprisingly, I know this may surprise you guys. Thunder has actually has a one-shot combo too. I've actually had it used against me, which is the, the most annoying thing in the game. Literally, they M1 you three times. After they M1 you three times, they use an ability, and they just do that over and over again. It keeps you infinitely stunned. It is so annoying to face Thunder. Thunder overall is just extremely good. I haven't seen that many people use Thunder. I think Thunder is one of the hardest ones to get currently besides Mist. But overall, Thunder is just very, very good. Use it if you guys haven't. It's just very, overall really, really annoying to fight and really fun to use. Next up is actually going to be Water. Water is going to be going into A tier. Water is going to be going into A simply because of the passive. Whenever you M1 people, it gives you 15% back. That is really, really, really good for a breathing technique because most of the issue while having a breathing technique compared to a demon in this game is actually charging your breath. But you don't even need to do that with Water because you almost always will have nearly full breathing if you're using this breathing technique, right? Which makes it absolutely insane. And I expect it to go to S tier in the future if people learn how to use utilize this better. And it does also have a lot of block breakers in it. And then last of all is going to be wind. Wind, I believe, is actually going to be the worst breathing technique in the game. I feel like wind has a lot of merits. And it's probably the longest ranged breathing technique in the game. And you could run away from people. But I feel like wind just overall, it did not do me justice. I actually am currently using wind. I feel like wind is just not very good. So I plan on rolling it for thunder. I actually plan on getting thunder. But wind just overall not a very good breathing technique but if you if you want to use it then just go ahead go for it it's not bad anyways guys gonna actually be it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video man that like button subscribe like a couple more hope to see you next one guys bye bye